How is this scenario for you? You finish your latest Eurorack project and it takes 5 volts power. Then you look at your Eurorack power supply and it only provides positive and negative 12 volt power. So what do you do? You patch in a second power supply to provide 5 volts and end up with a mess of cables similar to this. But what if there is a better way? A way to add 5 volt power to a module that doesn't have a built in regulator? Well in this video we're going to do exactly that. First let's look at how we make 5 volts from 12 volts. Conceptually. All you need is a voltage regulator, with 12 volts connecting to the input pin, ground connecting to the ground pin, and then you will have 5 volts coming out the output pin. In reality, you also need some filter caps to make the regulator happy, and your rack input and output connectors that pass all the appropriate voltages to their appropriate pins. For those of you playing at home, a layout as a single sided circuit board would look something like this, with positive and negative 12 volts along with ground coming out of this 10 pin Eurorack power connector here and 5 volts being made and all the voltages leaving through this 16 pin power connector here. To make this 5 volt adapter for myself slightly smaller, I'm going to use surface mount parts. This makes your PCB layout look like this. All the same connections are here, I just don't need to drill as many holes and the finished 5 volt adapters will be lower profile than if made with through hole components. Now to the laser cutter to make the PCB. The board this simple, if you are careful, you can probably lay it out using a sharpie as the resist and get more or less the same result. Now to cut out the block of boards off the larger PCB blank. And drill a hole or two to suspend the boards during etching. Now with the tarnished removed, into the ferric chloride they go. And just a few minutes later, perfectly etched PCBs. quick dip in some paint thinner and the resist is gone. Now to drill out all the holes. Drilling is easier when the boards are all one big block and easier to hold on to. With the drilling done, the boards can now be cut in, into individual pieces. I'm using tin snips. On thin material like this, the snips leave a nice edge, and it doesn't make a lot of dust like the table saw. Now to mount the parts. and the jump I need to make for the ground connection. Then the connectors are placed. Notice the 16 pin connector is female. This will plug directly into a module that needs 5 volts without you needing an intermediary cable. And there we have it. All that's left to do is add a red mark to the negative 12 side, give it a quick off camera power on test, and then connect it to a module. And there we go. 5 volts for a module that doesn't have it built in. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.